Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, you are here for video number dose, all right? Number two, if you are here for the first time and this is your video number one, uh, go back and check the true video number one, all right? <laughs> Last week here on Agave Talk, I actually reviewed the newest additions from Tequila Centinela, and this is their Classico line, all right? So today, Blanco, you're not the star of the show. Today, the star of the show is the Repasado, yes. So Tequila Centinela, uh, the oldest distillery in the Highlands, founded in 1904, okay, guys? This bottle right here is their Reposado, aged for six months, six months in oak barrels. And if you watched that video last week, that Blanco was pretty solid. You know I love agave forward, roast agave forward Blancos. Uh, you know I love my tequila, really agave forward, right? And the Blanco itself was pretty agave forward, but it wasn't an agave bomb. It was more like agave grenade. So again, go check that out. Go check that mm -hmm. out, right? So today I'm really curious to see how this Reposado, the aging in for six months in those barrels, are really going to play out uh, with this offering. Another surprise, if you do follow the channel and you did watch that video, thank you. You know I am reviewing this next. Got the whole Centinella lineup. This is their really, really, really tall big bottle, right? Of Cristalino Añejo Tequila. So this is their Cristalino offering, all right? Whether you love them, hate them, don't know anything about them, Cristalinos is its own category, right? This is a bottle from them, and I'm going to review that next week. Every Sunday, you know we drop 10 a.m., okay, guys? So this as well, you're not the star of the show. Giant, humongous, cool-looking bottle. Get out of here and back to our repo. So in that Blanco video, I really went over, um, you know, Centinella itself, some of the history of the brand founded in 1904. They have that embossing and that branding pretty much all over this bottle, right? So you got that in the back. It's on the cap, like, oh, right there. Can I get it in focus, please? Yes. All right. There we go. Ish. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so that branding is everywhere, right? Um, and that Blanca was pretty solid. So like I said, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. I really am. And I'm just going to jump right on in. I don't want to waste too much time really going over the brand again uh, because I did do that in the Blanco video. I touched on the Repo a little bit, the Cristalino. So please, please, please go watch that video. Check that out because I am just going to jump right on in to this bottle. Again, six months aged in oak. Centinella Classico. Let's your bottles unscrew because this is not a pop top. <laughs> so, oh, see that? That got in the, in the focus much easier. Look at that. It is just a screw top, all right? Little metal screw top. Got that. Got that branding right there, and I'm going to pour this out. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. So, so taking a look, this is pretty golden. This is a really, really golden color. Um, taking a look at the legs and the tears, it is, there we go, sticking around. That's sticking around quite some bit. I do remember... Try to get that in focus and get on camera right there. You can really see it like right there, right? That Blanco was sticking around as well. This definitely looks like it got a little bit more oils. That oak uh, kind of helping out six months in that barrel, right? There we go. That's good. That's a good shot. And uh, yeah, really curious. Really, really, really curious because I did like the Blanco and the Blanco was pretty solid. Again, not a huge agave bomb, but it was definitely agave forward. More like a gave grenade, right? Uh, there was some ethanol on there, some black pepper, I do remember. But overall, it was solid, and I was very happy with it. Reposado, let's see. Okay. Mm, that oak, definitely. 
you're definitely getting oak forward on this. Uh, the first sniff, I was getting, you know, a, a, a blast of ethanol. But it's not, like, like super overpowering. Just a little spicy in the nose, a little peppery in the nose. But it's oaky, very oaky, right? Yeah, that's, oh, that's got some oak. But then it's, like, battling with that ethanol. And it's kind of, it's, it's, it's. Put a little fire to the hairs of my nose, right? The agave, it's there. Definitely toned down, resting in that barrel for six months. Like I said in the Blanco, you know, it's not. It's an agave grenade. It wasn't a huge bomb. Um, and being aged now for six months, that agave aroma has definitely been rested, right? Reposado has been toned down. And you are getting a lot of oak on this. Kind of, it's still earthy. Definitely still earthy, which is nice. I do like that. Uh, got some minerals on there. And I'm, I'm curious to see what this is going to taste like on this first sip. So you know what? Kind of a little grassy. Hmm. That's not bad. Definitely oak dominated on this right now. That agave is toned down. But uh, yeah, let's try this out. Cheers. Salud. I, I, can, see, I can see here and smell this stuff all day. Um, cheers. Salud. Let's take a sip. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ooh. Peppery. Oaky. That wood. Definitely that, um, the heat I was feeling in my nose. Oof. You're definitely getting some heat on that, but it's not ethanol. All right. It's not an ethanol heat. It's more of that oak, that wood, those tannins, right? Definitely oaky, definitely peppery. Mm. Mm. But it is nice because there's still some of that agave on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, not a super explosion, but that roast agave is there. You are still tasting it, but man, that's six months in this in this barrel. Um, I'd wonder the char on this barrel because you are getting a lot of oak, right? Definitely earthy, definitely some mineral notes in there. Uh, but overall, yeah, that oak, man. Wow, that is really, really overpowering, but in a good way. I don't mean that negatively. For me personally, I like it, right? And as it's, you know, as I took a couple sips now, my mouth is used to it. My nose, the aromas, mouth, nose, it's all connected. As you take a couple sips, you know, some of that, some of those aromas start to open up. That ethanol is completely gone and you are just getting a lot of oak. There's some vanilla in there for sure. Um, there's like chocolate, like a raisin, right? Like I'd be, oh man, I'd be really curious to see the whatever barrel they use, right? Those that six months in that oak barrel with that char. I would be very curious to try an añejo from them. I'm sure it'd be a very spicy añejo if they make the classico añejo, right? Uh, all they make is the blanco and repo, but an añejo, maybe it's coming out, right? Because this is brand new. But an añejo, oh, that if you like that spicy añejo, if they left it in that barrel for another six months, right? Even past the year. First, I'm thinking it's going to be very dark, but man, it's you're going to start getting some really, really, oh, some of those notes on there. Because as this is opening up, oh, this is great. Let me take a sip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some notes of, van of vanilla, baking spice as well. This is spicy. Uh, if you like your repasados bold and spicy, this is definitely it. Making a cocktail with this, it's going to shine through. And it's great because it still has some of that agave flavor on there, right? Very much oak forward with those hints of agave. So now the agave grenade turned more into like an agave, uh, I don't know, an agave firecracker, <laughs> right? <laughs> Decreasing in size, but it's still there. It's still there. It packs a little pop, but that oak would shine through any cocktail. And mm -hmm. this is, this is solid. Cool, man. I like it. You guys know Reposados uh, are a least favorite expression. I'm all for Blancos and Extra Añejos. 
of course i drink everything and anything right but um this right here this is not bad to sit here and sip on it i love the the boldness the spiciness of it but it's also really as i took that last sip it's kind of toned itself down my mouth has gotten used to it and man the flavor on that is pretty pretty solid so like i did with the blanco i am just going to take one more little pour of this and uh we appreciate you being here <laughs> if you have not done so already please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on instagram at agave talk all right with that being said i'm gonna take this last sip that last smell yeah the again the yeah in the back still tiny hints enough of ethanol for sure but that oak oh man mm. 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 I like it. I like it. That's pretty decent. Centinella Classico, excellent job. Thank you. We appreciate you all being here with us again and take care.